Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration of the order management process. I'm logged in under the role of an operations user. Part of my responsibility is to review and approve sales orders, so I use my dashboard to stay on top of anything requiring my attention. Under my reminders, I see I have some sales orders awaiting my approval. I can either approve sales orders in bulk or drill in further to ensure full order accuracy and detail. I'll click on sales order 447 to review it before approving. Our company sells services, software, and hardware, which we can see are all included on this customer order. For our recurring subscription and maintenance, we utilize NetSuite's billing schedules to automatically produce invoices on the agreed upon dates, whether that's upfront or using another recurrence frequency such as monthly. Our installation services will be billed through a related project, but for our hardware, we typically drop ship items directly from our vendors to our customers. With NetSuite's dropship automation, we automatically create a purchase order to our vendor once this sales order is approved, which I'll do now. Once I approve the sales order, we can see the originating sales order as well as the resulting purchase order is automatically created and sent to our vendor. Our preferred vendor, Harris Technology, was set on the item configuration. When our vendor has shipped the products, we mark these items as shipped. Once our vendor sends us a bill, I can quickly create the payable due to my vendor right from my purchase order, which I'll open from this fulfillment screen. All details from my purchase order copy into my vendor bill, but I'll also add Harris's invoice number into my reference field and attach a copy of their invoice that I might scan from a hard copy or cut and paste from an email under the communication tab. And then I'll save the bill. Now we're ready to invoice our customer. I'm switching to my accounts receivable role, which is responsible for all billing operations. This dashboard is focused on everything needed to quickly produce accurate invoices. Usually, I create invoices as a batch process, but for the purpose of this demonstration, let's create one specific invoice. My reminders show me I have sales orders ready to invoice, so I'll click that link to review them. If I select Mark All, I'm telling NetSuite to create all of the invoices, and my customer setting will determine if they will be faxed, emailed, or if I should print it for mailing. I'll unmark them instead, and since I know my sales order number was 447, I will enter that in the order number box for a quick search. Then I'll click the invoice link to generate it. All of the items from my sales order that are ready to be billed have been pre-selected, so all I need to do is click Save. Once the invoice is saved, I get a confirmation on screen, and I'm brought back to the screen to continue my billing process. At some point, I want to accept a payment for the customer, whether that's by check, credit card, or ACH. To find the invoice we created quickly, I will pull up the customer record, go to Sales, Transactions, and filter on the type Equal to Invoice in case I have a lot of transactions to sort through. Once I open the invoice, I will click on Accept Payment move to the payment method screen where, let's say they send a check, I'll fill in the check number, then click Save. Finally, to ensure we receive timely payments from our customers, I'll pull up a report from my favorites list to show our current aged receivables. This configurable report allows me to get down to specific invoice details in just a couple clicks. If I want to remind a customer with an overdue payment, I could easily launch an email from the invoice and select a predefined email template. Thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information, please reach out to your account manager.